I think the biggest thing that I've done differently on this record is really labour over the lyrics. I spent so much time crafting them, recrafting them, and getting them to feel as true to me as, as possible. Um, I, I would definitely say that's the biggest kind of leap I've made as an artist on this record is, is the lyrics. When it came to picking the musicians to use on the record, I wanted to be in a comfortable, all-inclusive, familiar setting, and it felt really natural to call upon my old musician buddies, uh, Luke Adams and Judith Renkema. My name is Judith, and I play bass. I'm Luke, Luke Adams, and I play the drums. I like the old classic bass sound. I like uh, old stuff, old drums from uh, most of, mostly from Japan. So it's uh, the, the crappy cheap drum kits from uh, from the 60s and 70s that that I think I prefer. I think we tried to um, make it sound natural, live, and uh, like we were playing on stage. We don't like to have a, a too polished studio sound. I think what we try to achieve is an organic record that sounds like it's played live. That's, that's, that's the vibe we're looking for. I'm sure you're in a work. Tell me, did you have a plan? This spoke of all your great. He sent us like his demos, and I really like some of. There's a bit like these soul songs on on there. I really like those. There's also this one song. It's called The Wildfire, and it's, it's got like this really dark, melancholic kind of vibe, which is also really cool. Lyrically, it's a bit darker than every J. M. Fogner album, I guess more about trouble than about happy stuff. Really a record to listen to, or like lyrics to listen to. There's a chance, once in life, taking breath or take flight, taking off a ride, but that just don't feel right. About two years ago, I, I went down this kind of um, open tuning guitar trip. Um, I think it was kind of spurred on by listening to a whole bunch of Brothers Landreth music and I really loved the slide playing and the the sound of all the open tunings that those guys were using. And I found myself tuning almost all of the guitars in my house to open C or open D or open G. Um, and there's a certain sound that you, you can capture when you tune the guitar in, in this open way. And it inspired a very different style of writing for me. Thanks. Yeah, uh, where, where do you want me to put uh, it? Double check. <laughs> Let me check myself also, so that we're both. Uh... So you're close enough? Oh, yeah. When I was recording my last two albums, I wanted to be more hands-on and I found myself being the engineer and the producer of my last record. That was a really big learning curve for me and I, I definitely learned a lot and there was definite pluses to working in that way. But it also meant that I had to wear many hats, like I had many roles in the, in, in the job. I had to be the, the engineer, the producer, the musician, the singer. And for this album, I really wanted to concentrate completely on, on the music and not have to think about whether something sounds correct or um, whether we need to change the placement of a microphone or something like that. So I approached my friend Berai and asked him if he could um, sit behind the, the desk and, and engineer this record and it's it was definitely the right decision. It, it's meant that I have had my head completely in the musicality of the record and not necessarily the, the technicalities of it. For it's being drowned out 
We're on the wrong side of history. We have played into blood red hands of that grinning man who took the snare. We tried to keep the vibe of the live instrumental recording and try to record the vocals straight after the live take so that JMI could take the vibe from the instrumental recording and, and put it into the vocal performance. What I've noticed with JMI is that every record he makes is different. And it seems that the more records he makes, the more, I think in a way that the records get a bit more alternative, maybe a bit darker, a bit dirtier. Yeah, I think this record is also going to be a new, I think a new step in that direction. I never was that good at opening up. At least that's what I have been so. I think the biggest thing that threads through the whole album is is probably, well, two things really. The, the honest, kind of hard on your sleeve lyric approach, and also the way we've gone about making the recording. Um, it's very much a live recording. Judith, Luke and I are, are capturing everything spontaneously together in the moment, um, and that threads through every single song. The other elements to the record that is very um, very much a, a part of the whole sound is the use of backing vocals. I think almost every song has really thick backing vocals, very much inspired by, uh, I guess, gospel music. And that, that's a definite thread throughout the whole record. When I go, 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 no, catch me if you can. When I'm go, I reach the promise that when I go, 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 will you take me by the hand? When I go, Lord, catch me if you can. Okay, I liked it. Cool. Yeah, it's fine. Great. Hot time.